Hey folks, I hope you can see this. This is uh, showing 0.26 amps times 240 volts. So um, I wanted to show you, I'm running the uh, air, solar air conditioner, the hybrid, on uh, PV mode, PV eco mode. And this is forcing the system to run on a bare minimum of AC power and the rest to run on... Uh, and it's just running the air com the compressor on DC. So I'm hoping you can see it staying pretty steady at a minimum 0.26. Again, the unit needs some AC power for the AC power supply. Side, you can see I'm going 16 amps. Going up to 16 times uh, roughly 36 volts. So uh, figure that one out. Uh, so 16 amps. So that's all DC right there and that's beautiful so it's keeping uh, a minimum uh, let's see it's using about 80 watts of power on the grid and there we go up to almost 20 getting like 20 amps on this so 700 watts of solar and 80 amps of grid so this is where this thing really shines so I just wanted to give you an update I've been tracking performance and uh, taking it apart and putting it back together and I did get the wrong remote when I first got it so I was confused but I finally got the right remote with it so I can put it in this eco mode which to me is phenomenal as you can see I'm hitting 20 20 amps so it's not noon yet so this is the time I want to cool the house down using the Sun and just a minimal amount of AC power to make the unit run and that way it's a great that way it's a great accessory to an existing solar system. Um, hard to calculate the SEER, the S-E-E-R, the efficiency uh, ratio of this unit, um, but the engineers that have been working on it say at least in this mode it's way over 35, so I don't think it, there's anything that can touch the efficiency in running an eco mode. So again, when you have a nice sunny day, make air conditioning. I love the paradox, using heat to make cooling. So let me know what you think, but uh, just still working on it, just figuring it out so that I can share this with other people. This is a great way to, to do air conditioning, in my, in my opinion. 20 amps, folks, on DC, 0.26 amps on AC. Okay, we're still running the 0.26 amps, roughly, and what I'm going to end up doing is... Uh, Turning this off of eco mode. I got it set at 68 just to show you. I'm going to force it to go back on AC. And then let's see what she does to try to satisfy the 68 degrees. Start, should start ramping up. And you'll see, hear the compressor. I don't know if it'll come out in the video, but it'll, the AC compressor will start ramping up to meet the demand. But it sure is nice to force it to run on, on the DC alone, if it'll keep up with the uh, application of where you have the mini split set. So mine's doing a pretty good job. So yeah, we're, we're coming up to 3 amps. So it's been running about 65 watts all day on AC, but now when you force it to work, she'll come up close to, uh, I guess, three and a half amps. So just put it in PV echo mode, forcing it to uh, drop down to a minimum of AC power. And just all it's going to run off is the solar panels for the most part. So she's coming down, isn't she? I can hear the compressor ramping down. Eventually it should settle out on about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 amps. Takes a little while. She's dropping. About 0.26 is the lowest that I think it'll go. That's good. That's good. Let's look at the DC side and then. Let's shoot the DC side over here. And we're 
back up there running that 21, 20, my meter behaves, 22 amps. Oh, I don't think we're in a cloud yet. About 20 amps. My oh, meter keeps resetting. But believe me, folks, we're on at least 600 to 800 watts on the DC and only 64 on the uh, on the AC side. So, uh, great day for testing. Really hot, really hot roof. And uh, the solar, again, perfect. This has been a lot of fun. hope I haven't bored you to death with this. I've just been putting it through its paces so I can uh, answer questions when people have them about solar air conditioning. This is Engineer 775 signing out.